I got a scholarship to a fashion school, a very prestigious fashion school here in Lagos for an advanced class for three months. So in this video, I'll be telling you how I got my scholarship as well as my time in fashion school. If it's something you're interested in, keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Lola Ulua Shosi and this is my channel, Everything Lola. If you're new on this channel, thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're not new on this channel, welcome back. So in this video today, like I stated earlier, I'll be telling you how I got my scholarship, my fashion scholarship to a very prestigious fashion school as well as the fashion school and my time in fashion school. So I also have a, a sewing channel. If you scroll down this page, you're going to see it. So you can go ahead and subscribe and just stick around. Let's do this fashion thing together. So I got my um, fashion scholarship in February. Yeah, I think February. No, I applied for the scholarship in February and got it in March this year, 2023. And then I started fashion school fully in May, May 20. 23 and yeah that was the beginning of a very 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 amazing journey if you're following me on instagram i have the same name almost everywhere Lola Lua Shusi. if you're following me on instagram you would see that i put everybody through my fashion school journey through the three months of my advanced class from day one till the end through all my projects i was carrying everybody along and it was an amazing journey and this year i can say that fashion school is the best thing that happened to me so in february i saw a post on instagram that was calling for an application to um a scholarship application to ic fashion academy you can check them out on instagram and this was a fashion school i had always admired mind you before this i have always been self-taught i did a little um sewing at my beginner stage but right from that time i've been self-taught using youtube you asking questions doing everything i could to survive in this sewing and fashion world so this opportunity, when it presented itself to me, it was something that I had to grab with my hand, my leg, my chest, everywhere. So when I saw the post, but it wasn't just like apply the regular application where they just say apply for this and you get it. You had to work for it. So they asked, it was for an upgrade class. There was the beginner's one, there was the upgrade, but they were going to take just one each from the beginner and the upgrade. So what they told us to do was create an outfit i'm going to show you i'll put it somewhere on the screen i'm going to show you maybe the video or the pictures but it asks us to create a mix and match outfit that's for the upgrade student create a mix and match outfit if you know ic fashion academy or ic um brand well you know that her strong point or what she does basically is ankara she's like the queen of ankara so when, when they said um do a mix and match ankara um dress or ankara outfits but it has to be mix and match that was it for the competition or for the application for the scholarship. I was like, okay, of course, she would tell us to do a mix and match Akara because that is her. If you anywhere you see beautiful mix and match Akara, the first thing that comes to your mind is icy. So I just, I almost did not want to do this um, application. I'm not even going to lie. I almost did not want to do it. I really appreciate my friend. My friend, she really pushed me and told me, just do it. I was like, are you sure? I bought my, she said, do it. I trust you. Do it. My mind, I'm like, ah, this is your choice. She said, do it. Go and lay so that you can come and teach me. So I got my Ankara. If there was something I was going for, so this is where I'm going to give an advice for people that sent me a message asking um how did how did you get the scholarship how can i win scholarship i don't think there's a pattern to win a scholarship i just feel you should study the kind of scholarship or the kind of place you are going to and find something that is in accordance to it so if there's something i noticed about the ic brand is that they love colorful ankaras so they don't do um uh, maybe black i'm not saying black is not colorful but if you go to her page or her brand page anywhere you see that yeah ankaras are always very colorful very beautiful always bright like they speak class so when i was getting my ankara the first thing i put in the first thing i put in place or the first thing i thought of was okay get a colorful ankara i was very very keen on getting i was intentional about getting a colorful ankara so i went with if you can see from this um, picture or video i went with um green and yellow those are not my favorite colors but when i saw the fabric it was it was glowing so i said yes this is it i went for that ankara and then my next step was to do i've always loved like creative pieces i'm the kind of person that doesn't like like regular things when i create something i want it to be noticed 
So the next step I had to take was, I told myself, okay, what are you going to do? Don't do something regular. Don't do something regular. So I did a reversible um, Ankara top and skirt. It was a rich skirt and a top, just like, you know, this boba top, but it was reversible. So I just did that because I'm like, okay, mix and match. I can make this part one color, make the other part one color, make this part so I can wear it in four different ways at least i know it's going to spike attention even if i don't get it that's what i told myself like even if i don't get it it's going to spike attention and that was the beginning of growing my instagram page so i grew my instagram page this year from 1000 plus subscribers to over 60,000 subscribers sorry i'm on youtube i don't know why i'm saying subscribers i grew my page from 1000 followers to more than 60,000 um, followers and it's currently on i think 60 i don't know 66 but I'll do a totally different video on how I did that, but that was like the beginning for it for me. That was, it was from that scholarship, I've been in 1,000 followers for years. It was from that uh, like scholarship application that I moved from 1,000 followers to 2,000 followers. So I just feel like if something like that ever comes up, maybe you have to do something like that. Maybe think of, think outside the box. I'm not saying that was why I was picked, don't get me wrong, but I just believe you think outside the box. Just think that, okay, what is it that nobody what is it that nobody may do and just do it just be daring don't stay in your comfort zone when i wanted to do a reversible top and skirt especially the wrist skirt i did not know how i wanted to do it i just knew that i told my friend that i want to do a reversible top and a reversible <laughs> skirt and i want this skirt to be rich. she said ah how are you going to do it and i'm like i wish i do it somehow so i just feel like when you are doing things like that applying for things that you know everybody is going to apply for or over a thousand people so many people are going to apply for do something that stands out. It, it may not get you picked, but it is going to increase your chances of getting picked. So that was it for me. And after some time, I was picked for the scholarship. They picked just one person for upgrade class and one person for beginner's class. I was picked for the upgrade class and I was excited because I knew that 2023 was the year where I wanted to up my fashion game. I had like knowledge of fashion. I was good with it. But I knew that it was beyond that. And this 2023 has been a blessing to my fashion Ha ah, god i don't even know how to explain it but going to fashion school just opened a lot of doors for me in different places exposed me to different people exposed me to so what i noticed that it's not just about going to learn how to do corsets going to learn how to do um, a bridesmaid dress or the, you have to you have to be in a space where there are other people that think like you that do the same thing like you so you would be able to differentiate and know okay what is it i want to do where am i going to what am i going to do with this and all of that so that was it for me and i spent three months in fashion school and those three months were amazing i am also going to do like different videos just maybe showing you everything i did but if you want to see like my project because i dropped every one of my projects on my instagram page my instagram page is lola you see you can just scroll down and feed your eyes and enjoy yourself so that is it i think that's all for this video and i did this video for people that were asking me how did you get your scholarship they just saw me because most people met me when i had already started the academy so they didn't necessarily know how i got the scholarship so i don't think it was something they do yearly or something they do yearly it was just a one-time thing i don't know if it will be done again for those that were asking me but yeah i can say that going to fashion school this year was one of the best things that happened to me going to ic fashion academy in particular was one of the best things that happened to me in 2023 so in my next video i'll be telling you things because when i went to fashion school you know i got a scholarship and i just i was jumping like i would just rush, put my head inside i didn't really know it i feel, I feel like if i had known about some things i would be i would have been more prepared when i was going there it doesn't mean the journey was not smooth it was <laughs> it has it it had its up and down it has its ups and down but the journey was great but if i had known some things if i was informed about some things i feel like i would have been more prepared and you know now ready to hit the road running but so in my next video i'm going to be telling you things i wish i knew before i went to fashion school I'll just to share it with you so if you have plans to go to fashion school you'll be prepared be more prepared than i was so that is it for this video if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section if you have any suggestion of what you want to know about my fashion school in general like about upgrade class in fashion school I, I can't really tell you much about the beginner stage but if it's the upgrade stage i'll be able to tell you a lot about that so yes thank you for staying to the end of this video if you made it to the end of this video and you've not subscribed yet just take a few seconds of your time to hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and 
don't forget to drop a lovely comment and share this video to others to so everybody that has been asking me how did you get a scholarship how did you get a scholarship yeah so thank you very much see you in my next video until then keep winning